Hi, welcome back to our session. For this session, I will be showing you more about processing uh, vector layers in QGIS, particularly number one, how to isolate or separate a certain data from a layer. Number two, how to merge multiple layers. Number three, how to clip a certain uh, data. And lastly, I will show you how to customize well your vector layer. Alright, let's start. Last time I showed you how to import and export data set in QGIS. So I'm assuming that you're quite familiar now with the process. So I will be skipping that here. So I drag my admin 1 and admin 2 already here. So admin 1, again, that's a provincial boundary and admin 2, that's municipal boundary. So for the first task, we will need to isolate a certain data from a certain layer. So in this case, we will be utilizing ADM1, which is a provincial uh, boundary, and therefore it shows you the provinces of the Philippines. Um, for this exercise, I want to isolate this particular data here. This is Aurora province. I am interested about this province. Now, <clears throat> to do that, you will need to look for the selection tool here above uh, if you click the drop down button here you will have uh, other options such as uh, selection uh, based on if it's a polygon or freehand or by radius um, because i will be selecting only a single feature so i will click only this uh, select features tool and then after selecting that you will need to make sure you need to make sure that you selected the right layer here because if you will not select the layer here it it will not work so i will select it first and then go back here to make it sure and then click the uh, data that you want to isolate so i will click this and it will give you a yellow color indicating that you already selected that particular data to isolate it you will need to export that data um, following our um, tutorial last uh, session so you will click your layer here and click export and then go to select or save selected features as when you select this make sure that you um, selected um, or you check this option here so I'm going to save it again to my admin boundary folder. So I will save it here as Aurora Province. Aurora Province. And click save and click OK. Again in QGIS, after exporting the data, it will automatically add in your uh, layers panel. So that's the first task on how to isolate or separate a certain data in QGIS. Okay, if you want to select or isolate multiple features from your layer, you can easily do that by pressing the control key from your keyboard and hold it while selecting the features. So for example, I will click ADM1 again and go back to selection tool and press or hold your control key and click this feature and this feature and this feature so that's it if you want to save it you have to export it again so I'm not going to do that so I need to deselect these features by selecting the, the deselect uh, feature here okay next task we will merge multiple layers uh, you will notice from my layers panel, I added a new layer here, which is Carino Province. I got that layer from here by isolating it using the process earlier. Let's uncheck ADM1 and ADM2. You will see that these two layers are separated and I want to merge these two features to become as one layer. Okay, to do that, you need to go to the Vector tab data management tools and merge vector layers for this window under input layers you will put aurora province here and Quirino province so if you want to set 
the CRS for the output, you can set it by selecting the button here and use the CRS here or you can uh, check more CRS using the button here. Under merge, you can either save the output file to your directory folder or you can create a temporary layer. Uh, if you want to save the output, you can click the button here and save to file. But for this exercise, I'm not going to save it to my folder, so I'm going to use a temporary layer only. Now let's input the layer by clicking here, select Aurora Province, and select Carino Province and click OK. Then run, and that's it. Close. Now you have the output here. Now you can see uh, the Aurora Province and Carino Province are now merged as one layer. Okay, next task for clipping, uh, we will utilize ADM1 and ADM2. So I will uncheck uh, the merge output, Aurora Province, and uh, Quirino Province. So let's uh, uh, check ADM1 and ADM2. Okay, for clipping, I will be utilizing again the Aurora Province to clip the data uh, in ADM2. Uh, therefore, I want to obtain uh, the municipalities all municipalities uh, within Aurora Province. To do that, um, you need to go back to do ADM1 and select um, this feature, the Aurora Province, using the selection tool here. Let's select that. And go to Vector and Geoprocessing Tools and click. Now for your input, you need to input uh, ADM2 here and you need to input um, ADM1 under overlay layer and make sure that you will check the selected features only. Uh, by selecting that or by, by checking this, um, the software will utilize only uh, the selected feature which is Aurora Province to clip the data in ADM2 or the municipalities. Now let's uh, click run. Okay, now we have an error here. Um, uh, feature has invalid uh, ge geometry. So to fix this, uh, we need to close this and um, go to your ADM2 uh, because uh, the creation is not always perfect so we have to fix meaning uh, there are um, missing features with the ADM2 so we have to fix that by um, clicking ADM2 uh, go to vector J processing tools again and go to buffer so for, for this option, you only need to change the distance value to zero. Let's change this to zero and click run. Now that process will create an output um, here, the buffered layer. So it's the same data with ADM2, but we fixed it. So let's uh, check this. Uh, let's uncheck this one and uncheck ADM2. Now you will see it contains the same data uh, from ADM2. Now let's proceed with the clipping uh, by going back to vector uh, geoprocessing tools and uh, clip. Now for the input, we will s select the buffered layer instead of ADM2 because we fixed it already. Now let's uh, select that and overlay layer, uh, we select um, ADM1 and select again the selected uh, features only to use the Aurora province. Again, I will um, create a temporary layer only if you want to save this to your folder, 
at the output for this process you can save it by clicking here and uh, save to file now let's run it okay it worked now let's close this and then check uh, PHL ADM1 and buffered now I got um, the municipalities within Aurora province so that's how you will clip um, data in QGIS okay for the last task let's customize the output let's click the clip layer and go to properties right click go to properties and uh, go to symbology now instead of using a single color for this layer we will use different or random colors to indicate uh, the municipalities now let's change a single symbol to categorize and then under value we will input here um, the names of the municipalities under name to column I hope that you can still remember that from the attribute table and then we will utilize only um, random colors but if you want to say select more colors you can click this or click it here you can use a gradient color and other uh, color ramps under here okay but we will be utilizing uh, random colors only and then let's uh, classify this now you will see here um, there is a specific color for each um, municipality now click OK now it will change to this now I want to uh, put the names of the municipalities by uh, going back to the properties and then let's uh, label this uh, under labels and then go to no labels and single labels and use name to uh, for the label and then let's increase a bit the um, size to say 14 and click apply and okay now you have a nice map okay that's it and thank you very much i hope that you learned something from this session